Think about it. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with? Oh, let's go get that back. Wrong button. Try that again. What are you gonna do when somebody hands you a, a tabla? Okay, great. I'm a tabla player, right? Well, no. It sounds like no, no. You, you gotta have the rhythms. So F four is giving you not only the individual note triggers, but also loops and phrases to work with. All right, I got my uh, Indian tabla. Let's go over to Eastern Europe and get a bass. Yeah, that has always been a very popular program for film story guys. Have all those sample libraries and all those phrases and loops that lock the tempo. It's it's a must have at that price point. All right, so I got some drums. I got uh, uh, my top my tablets. I got a bass line. I feel like playing a little bit of guitar. It's written into the contract. If I'm going to come down to New York and do demos, I can play some guitar. <laughs> Let's go back into uh, my mixer over here. And uh, let's see. Show that guitar track for me. Well, that's about as dry a guitar sound as you could ask for. Up to the project menu and down to clippings. Clippings is uh, a feature that's been a digital performer for a while, but it's yet another unique feature of the program. You can have as many clippings windows as you like. Clipping, clippings windows can be specific to the project within which they're created. They can be global and available to all your DP session files, and they can also be startup items. When you launch digital performers, something that's in a startup clippings window also launches. So a clippings window could be used to hold an alias to an application, maybe Reason. Uh, it could be used to hold an alias to a file, maybe my lyrics file. I can use a clippings window to store fragments of audio or MIDI, maybe for a sound effects library. I can have a piece of a sequence stored as a clipping, right? There's some audio, some MIDI, we'll call that the bridge. Drag it from the clippings window back into the sequence and use it as an arrangement tool. And for what I'm going to do right now, I'm using the clippings window to store effects presets. I guess we could call that a channel strip, right? Okay, so you see I've got a couple of other clippings that I've got set up. You build your own libraries of clippings, and uh, I'm using all plugins that ship with Digital Performer, but of course you can have third-party audio units, plugins, and so forth, which would also be included in the clippings. So I've got a trip plugin, followed by an EQ, followed by a preamplifier, followed by a flanger, followed by a plate reverb, and a multi-tap delay. All right, these are all of the uh, the effects that I've got on my guitar right now. All right, let's go turn that loop off. And let's make a little bit of music. at the AES 2007 show. We've showed you Digital Performer version 5.1, Mach 5 version 2, the next generation of our universal sampler. We talked about the ethno instrument, We've got new hardware products out. Ladies and gentlemen, we're both to you're beautiful. Thank you very much.